Hey viewers, today I'm continuing work on my Trek BMX bike and when I bought this it did not have a chain on it. So what I'm going to do today is install a chain on there and I'm going to show you the whole process of sizing the chain. Figure out what size of chain you need and then also cutting it to length. Now before you get started you need to figure out what size of chain you need to buy. Now this free wheel is nice enough to tell me that it takes a half inch by one eighth inch chain. Um, that chain, size of chain is typical for a single speed bike like you, what you'd find on a BMX type bike. It's a, it's a wider chain than what you'd find on a bike with a uh, multi-speed freewheel um, you know, with a derailleur. Now this is a bit of chain that, uh, that is designed for a uh, multi-speed bike and it just physically won't fit over the teeth of the cogs here. The reason being is this gap between the inner plates here is just too narrow to fit over these teeth which are fatter than what you'd find on the freewheel of a multi-speed bike. Now this is the uh, half inch by one eighth inch chain and it fits cleanly over the teeth like that. And so this is the size of chain I need to use. Now I was lucky and this freewheel was marked with what type of chain to use on it, but that might not always be the case. So let me show you the difference in thickness of the different types of cogs here. So this uh, cog here, which is for the half inch by one eighth inch chain, if I measure the thickness of the teeth, they're uh, about uh, three millimeters thick. Now this cog here, this is from a cassette designed for a uh, thinner chain, if I measure the thickness of the uh, teeth here, it's uh, about two millimeters thick, depending where I measure it here. Um, and so this is designed for a half inch by three thirty seconds inch chain. So that way, if it's not marked, if it's closer to three millimeters thick, then you probably want the half inch by one eighth inch chain. And if it's about two millimeters thick, then you probably want the half inch by three thirty seconds inch chain. Now, in the next part of the video, I'm going to be referring to inner and outer plates. When I'm, I talk about outer plates, I'm referring to these plates that are on the outside, and to inner plates, these plates that are inside, close together. That's what I'm referring to. Okay, I have the chain draped over the chain ring in the front and the cog in the back, and uh, this chain, there's not really an outside and inside. Some chains have a side that is meant to be facing out, and usually it's a side with a logo on it, but this, this chain can go either way. Um, and what I'm going to be using is a simple little tool that I made. It's just a piece of wire coat hanger that I bent at two inches apart. And what this is used for is kind of test the, testing the length of the chain to kind of join it together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it through one side through uh, in the gap between two of the outer plates. And then Kind of push the wheel in, and I'm going to stick it through, I can't quite reach th there, so I'm going to stick it through here and see how that is. So I have it on through the outer plates on this side as well. So now what I can do is I pull the wheel back, and it doesn't uh, come out of the dropouts in the back, and if I push it forward, I want to make sure that there's enough uh, chain there to go ahead and be able to pull it off of the chain ring in the front. So there is. So this is about the right length. So here's a close up of my little jointer tool. So if I kind of push the chain up there, you can kind of see how this outer plate section here would join right to that inner plate section right there. So uh, this chain comes with a master link that replaces this outer plate section. So I want to break the chain right here. So I'm going to mark this right here so I know where to break the chain at. And you want to uh, be real careful because you want to break the chain um, in the right place because if you break the chain in the wrong place and the thing is too short then it's, you can't really make the chain longer. <laughs> so mark the chain and so that's right where I want to break that. So I have my chain break tool here, and I'm going to line it like right up with that mark there. And so that's right where I want to break it. So just kind of, you know, push that pin out there. Like that. And then I can remove the breaker tool. Like that. Okay, now to install this type of master uh, link here that came with the chain, 
So it's got this little part here. I'm going to stick it through both ends of the chain just like this. There's a plate that fits over here like this. And then the master link came with this little clip here. So it's open on one end and closed on the other. So the, I want the closed end pointing in the direction that the chain is going to move. So as I'm paddling around, the chain's going to move this way. So I want this pointed in that direction. So I'm going to slide this on here like this. And then using a pair of pliers, let me just get this all like lined up with the two little uh, the slots on the pins there. And then using a pair of pliers, I'm just going to push that into place. And then that's locked on there like that. So now that I have the chain all connected there, I can pull the uh, rear wheel back. And I'm going to tighten the uh, axle nuts down. So the chain's somewhat tense there. And then pedal it. Now it pedals nice and smoothly, just like that. And now I have a nice new chain installed. And that is how to figure out what size of chain you need and how to cut it to length on a BMX uh, type bike like this. Hope you found this useful or interesting. If you did, please click like. I always appreciate you getting likes on my videos. It helps me out. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button and you'll see new videos as they come out. And I'm always coming out with new videos. And I'm also over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like my page, and I post a lot of stuff over there. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.